What up Trucking Empire? Today I'm going to be going over your CPM and how to calculate it. Your CPM is your cost per mile. <clears throat> I get this question a lot on my YouTube and my comments, emails. Uh, I've looked it up on YouTube. I don't really see too many videos explaining it very well. So I figured today I would show you how to calculate it. A quick note is uh, this is going to be for a hypothetical truck. This is going to be based off of some numbers that I'm familiar with um, as far as renting. Um, now, if you own your truck, I'm going to drop a link in the description <clears throat> to a website that I use um, to help, help other people calculate their CPM if they own their truck. It's the same thing. You just put your uh, cost per mile um, added into the equation for your maintenance and your year and all that good stuff. So, uh, yeah, I'm going to get you guys over to the paper and I'll do the calculating now. So, see you all in a second. All right, y'all. Sorry about this being in the way. Uh, I don't really have a way to... <clears throat> to record my my table here and I'm kind of I got you set up on a vase actually uh but anyway whatever it takes to get it done all right so your first step when calculating any of this um, will be to gather your per mile uh, maintenance whether that's your rental fee or your actual maintenance which again you can get if you own your truck you can get the uh, per mile maintenance averages from the website that I linked in my description. But for this video, um, it's going to be uh, 15 cents a mile. Uh, that's cents per mile, not cost per mile, by the way. That's just what my rental fee is per mile. Um, like I said, you can get yours out of the uh, description if you need to. If, it's, if you own your truck, <clears throat> it's the same principle. Just plug that in right here. And then... You want to get your average cost per gallon, which on this particular truck that I'm doing was $3.50. Uh, CPG, cost per gallon. Um, then your next thing would be to get your miles per gallon average. Um, and this is how you're gonna determine whether you're calculating for your loaded or unloaded um, cost per mile. So we're gonna be doing our unloaded for this truck particularly. Our unloaded cost per, uh, uh, sorry, our unloaded miles per gallon in this truck is around 9.5. Again, this is a box truck, but you can do this for semis um, or any truck for that matter, even your vehicle. If you can calculate your uh, average maintenance each year for your vehicle, then you can do the exact same thing for your personal vehicle here. But this, this is all vehicles, but in particular today, we're talking about a box truck. So 9.5 miles per gallon. And then your next next thing that you want to get is the miles that you're calculating with i use a thousand so obviously in a week you want to go about you know anywhere from three to four thousand miles uh, but just to make the math simple we're going to do a thousand miles all right so now that we've got this is our first step again we'll just put a one right here remember this is your first step here just to get all your plugins, your your cost per mile for maintenance or your fee for your rental, your cost per gallon on fuel, your miles per gallon, and how many miles you went. Now it's time to start plugging it in. Let's go with our second step. So our second step is we're going to divide our miles, total miles, divided by our miles per gallon, which is 9.5. So, um, obviously that is a thousand divided by 9.5 equaling, um, I've already done the math. So if I don't calculate it, that's why I've got a paper right there that I'm going by, but obviously I'll try to do the math as much as possible for you guys. So a thousand, you just need a calculator, you know, divided by 9.5 is 105. And this is how many gallons that you used to make it a thousand miles with this MPG. So cost, it, it took you 105, we'll say 105, just 105 regular instead of 105.2, just to keep it simple. So 105 uh, gallons, this face is getting in my way. Wow, anyway, gallons. So that's supposed to be gallons, but two A's because this freaking face is in my way. Anyways, 105 gallons. Um, and we're going to multiply that. I don't know why I put the division sign. Disregard the division sign and the long gallons word here. Okay, so we're going to multiply 105 gallons 
times 3.5, which is your average um, cost per gallon. Um, if you got like a, a fuel card or something, you should have a manager where you can look and see your average cost per gallon for your trucks. Uh, and then this is going to give us 105 times three, 105 times 3.5, Gives us three hundred and sixty-seven point five dollars. So it's three hundred sixty-seven dollars and fifty cents. And this is your total cost for the week to go a thousand miles. Three sixty-seven. All right, that's our first step done. So we've now calculated how much it cost us for this week to go a thousand miles in this truck. Obviously, this is all unloaded miles, so it's not going to be the same. Um, but for the purposes of this video, this is unloaded miles. It cost this particular truck for me, it cost $367.50 to go a thousand miles. So there you go. Our third step. Third step here is, um, let me put a line through here. So our third step would be, I'm going to separate this two for you, to divide our total cost to go a thousand miles divided by 1,000. So I'm not sure if you're good at math, but I can typically look at this and tell you uh, it's gonna be about 36, uh, 0.367. Um, but anyways, we'll just go ahead and do it. So 367.50 divided by 1,000 miles. It's 0.367, we'll cut off the five. Simple math here. Um, so this is what it cost you, it's 36.7 cents, uh, you know, per mile. Uh, we'll cut off the seven here. This is, this is without your per mile maintenance or rental fee, but this is what it cost you for just your fuel to run your truck. Now, we'll add in, for this truck is uh, 15 cents. It could be different if you own your truck or you pay higher on your rent or whatever it is. Uh, but mine is uh, 15 cents. We add those together and that gives us 51 cents per mile. This is our cost per mile in this truck unloaded. Now I know that there's fixed expenses. You got insurance, you got all that good stuff. Um, and if you wanted to calculate for that, I keep those separate. I keep my fixed expenses and my cost per mile separate and my, um, you know, variable expenses as well. Like, uh, you know, your payment and all that good stuff. I keep that completely separate. But just for the purposes of this video, this is what it cost uh, for, you know, my truck unloaded to run per mile. And obviously it would be higher if you plugged in um, a, a lower miles per gallon, which would be loaded. And my truck, you know, does about 8.9 miles per gallon. You can do the math, uh, you know, that's loaded, 8.8 .8 maybe. Um, you can do the math on that to find, you know, what my cost per mile loaded is, which I already know it. Um, but yeah, this works for all trucks, semis, box trucks, whatever whatever you, uh, you know, whatever fancies you. And then, um, like I said, if you wanted to add in um, your insurance and stuff, I'll leave that to you guys to figure out. It's pretty simple. You just plug it into up here. You would add it probably to your miles. Um, I haven't done that on my trucks because I just don't do it. I'd have to sit down and figure that out for you. If you guys would like me to sit down and figure out how to calculate your insurance and all that into your cost per mile, I can do that too. Um, but anyways, this is how you do it. And I hope you guys enjoyed the video and got something from it for you guys that own your trucks. And, uh, you know, if you don't have this number yet, um, there's a link in the description to a website that's going to provide that for you or at least a close number. So... Um, that's that, and uh, we'll see you guys on the next one. Yo, what up, y'all? So, I'm rewatching the video, finishing up the editing and everything, trying to get it ready for you guys. And uh, I noticed that the second video, uh, where I actually did the math and everything, the way I was recording, the phone was really close to my face, so it kind of took away from the video a little bit and you can hear me breathing and uh you know it was really loud so <clears throat> i apologize for that hopefully uh you guys can still focus on it and get something from it and it doesn't distract you too much but uh i've tried to edit it as much as possible and turn it down and stuff but there's only so much you can do <clears throat> but uh yeah so i'm gonna uh
I just wanted to tap in with you guys and, you know, tell you how much I appreciate y'all. Um, like I said, I'm trying to get more, more back into the content, especially now that I'm home. So we're looking at two videos a week and I'm going to go live tomorrow night, uh, Sunday, what is tomorrow? Sunday, January 9th at, uh, let's say 5 PM central. Um, if you guys want to tap into that, it'll be a quick 30, 40 minute live, um, ask some questions, whatever you want to do. Uh, but yeah, so I'm going to drop this here in about two hours. So yeah, appreciate y'all, man. I'm tapping out.